Hey guys, Mark from We Travel Alone. So the day has arrived. It's time to go and get our motorbike learners. This will be our bike that we'll be riding. When we get our L's, we've got our helmets ready to go that we bought a few weeks ago. So we've just got to go over to the training facility, which is in a town about 30 kilometres away. We're going to do a two-day course, 8.30 till 2.30, Saturday, Sunday. Come Sunday night, hopefully, I can come home and ride our Honda scooter. So Rebecca Wild, what do you think about going to get our motorbike license today? Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look so. Okay, quick stop at the supermarket on the way. Get some energy drinks, some coffee, get us concentrated and focused, and off we go. So we've arrived at the training centre here. There's some motorbikes out on the training field ready to go, so it's gonna happen soon. Gonna get on the bikes. For those of you that don't know, we actually planned on getting our learners and our license on our motorbikes so we can ride scooters in Asia when we become digital nomads in the next few years. We don't want to be those type of people that have a crash, don't have insurance, end up in hospital, have to beg, borrow, plead from family, friends, GoFundMe pages to have enough money to get flown home for medical care. That's just not us. We weren't sure what to expect when we signed up for this course, whether it would be uh, intense, hard, easy, or all of the above. In the end, our instructor, Doug, made it really easy for all of us. It wasn't too intense, it was simple, it was easy to follow. They showed you all the essentials of what you need to be able to get out and ride a motorbike safely on your learner's permit. Okay, so we're heading for uh, day two of the motorbike course, so excuse the bumping because the state we live in, Victoria, has some of the worst roads in the world, apparently. Not my driving. <laughs> so day one was completed. We did about six hours. It had a few breaks in it for coffees. At lunch, we basically just went over the bikes, learned about the bikes, did a little bit of riding on a, like a tarmac uh, with some stopping, starting, changing gears, weaving in and out of some cones, so really just some basic skills to skill up on day one. Um, we did a test at the end of the day, uh, which you had to pass, obviously, to, to get your licence or get your learner's permit. So we're heading back we for... Going to day two. And you had to pass it to go into day two, as Beck said. So we're heading back for day two now, which will, uh, our trainer told us would require us to do a little bit more training on the tarmac, and then we're actually going to go out on the open road. So what do you think about that, Rebecca? Rebecca says no, no to the open road, no to the highway, so apparently that's where we're heading, but uh, we'll wait and see. I'm most excited about getting home afterwards so I can take our scooter out for a spin. Okay, so first session of the morning done, did a bit of turning and some basic skills, so now we're heading back into the office for a coffee and uh, some more talking about riding. So what does all this cost in Victoria where we live? Uh, the weekend course cost us $535. But by the time we go through to our provisional license, which allows us to get insured in Asia, it'll have cost us over $1,000 Australian each. The final assessment was a skills test one-on-one -on -one with Doug. Then we all, as a group, went out and went riding on some roads just to see that we could do it. After that, back into the office, Doug did the paperwork and handed us our learner's permits. So we've 
finished our two day learner permit course and we passed. So we now have a paper license until our plastic one comes in four to five weeks. Um, I've really enjoyed it, but I'm a little bit intimidated with not having anything around me and it's been quite windy today. So hopefully with a little bit of practice, this is something that I can combat. The moment we got back, I jumped on our scooter, our Honda 100 scooter that we'd bought only two or three weeks ago. It cost about $1,800, so we had to add that onto the cost of everything as well. And I took off around the block a few times um, and really, really, really loved it. Uh, the difference with the scooter is the scooter's automatic, so there's no gear changes like you need on the motorbike. So it's uh, much simpler and much easier to concentrate. All you've got is an accelerator and two brakes. So... That is excellent. Uh, so now we're going to practice up on this for two months before we go back and do a rider's check, it's called. So basically on the rider's check, we'll go out with Doug and he'll take us around out on the roads, uh, make sure that we're doing everything right that we need to be doing to pass our provisional license. So make sure our lane positioning is right, uh, turn the blinkers on, turn the blinkers off, make sure we're not a traffic hazard at two people. And then after that, in one month after that, we can go for our provisional license. Now, provisional license is what it's all about because once we get the provisional license, we can then get the travel insurance when we go to Asia. So then we can start riding our scooters around in Bali, Thailand, Vietnam, wherever we like. So, But that's only if we choose to do this because when you look at the traffic sometimes in some of these countries, they can be very, very daunting and there's a lot of people going everywhere. But look, we don't really have any great desire to go on any long trips on scooters or motorbikes as it would be because we will get a full motorbike license that allows us to ride a scooter. But we just want to be able to duck down to the supermarket on a scooter or, you know, go and check out a beach that's a few kilometres up the road that we haven't been to, you know, go to the next really cool cafe that you see on TikTok. So... That's what it's all about. So hopefully within three months' time, we will have our full license and be ready to roll. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate everyone that watches. Please leave some comments. That helps with our engagement. Call over to the Facebook page, like the TikTok page. And as always, since you're on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button for us, and that would be great. Cheers.